So a hazard is a hazard, but it only turns into risk when there are humans involved. So we try to understand that relationship, the nature and the human relationship better here. So obviously technology is integral to everything that we do these days and hazard management is no exception. So whether we're trying to predict and warn people about a volcanic eruption or a forthcoming earthquake, or whether we're alerting them about a flood event and giving them the best possible information on how to respond. So we look at a range of hazards. Uh, we look at volcanoes, floods, windstorms, earthquake, landslides, and uh, we look at what processes are involved, the physical processes, and how those processes have an impact on the society. I'm really enjoying the face-to-face -face element, just because of the insight from both lecturers leading the sessions and the communication between other students. As ideas can be shared and conversations can be had uh, just to help each other with assignments and the work in the session. I'm really interested in the physical side of geography rather than the social side. Um, so I've really enjoyed the modules on climate change, uh, earth surface processes and natural hazard management. I've always been interested in volcanoes and how the earth physically works. So there's a lot of that on the course at Chester. So we kind of begin at first year by introducing the basic theory, but also with hands-on practical work whether that's in the computer labs or whether it's out in the field using some of the equipment that we have. And then over the, the kind of second and third years, we get into more detail, start to bring in more sophisticated analysis, modeling techniques. And by the time we get to final year, then they're ready to go off and use it on their own for things like dissertation projects or work placements. So I've really enjoyed the geomatic information systems element of the module, which looks at using technology to analyze and solve problems in the workplace. During the second year, I went to the North Wales coast to look at flood vulnerability and flood risks and how they can make people along the coastline safer. And then later in the year, I also went to the Peak District and we looked at the landslides that have occurred there. Field work and exposure to different areas is very important for this course. Uh, it gives our students that exposure uh, to understand different landscape and we are very lucky to be geographically located in an area where we have different types of landscapes all around us. Third year is the year where we go international and go on top of Mount Vesuvius and that is incredibly uh, important and gives that overview of how uh, physical and social aspects of hazards are brought together in one place. We've done the online field work um, for Naples which was really interesting even though we weren't actually there um, but yeah we're going there in, in May so that, that will be really interesting. Last year we went to Kinmel Bay in North Wales where we were looking at flood risk. We've also done online field work in Snowdonia where we were looking at vegetation succession but we also went to Harlech last year as well where we carried out physical field work looking at vegetation succession on sand dunes. The proactive way that Chester involve field work in the courses and um, I think it, it, you know, it is a core element um, to give us the actual practical skills that, that we can take into the workplace once we're finished. We're very aware that you know, people come and do a degree because they want to get a job at the end of the day so we make sure that we're giving all of our students the skills that they need to get the job that they want at the end of their course. Thankfully we've got some great relationships with a whole range of employers, many of whom are actually some of our past students. So we invite them back to come and speak in our lectures, share their experiences, tell the students about you know, what their sector is like, the kind of skills that they're looking for. Uh, but we also make sure that we make our assessments as authentic as possible. So you won't just be writing an essay for every assignment. You might be writing technical reports, ministerial briefing notes. You might be carrying out portfolios of practical work to make sure that by the time you get to the end of your degree, you're used to doing the kind of things that you'll be doing out there in the workplace. I think Chester provides you with yeah, the range of skills um, that you would need, especially as a younger graduate, definitely. So a part of my career is to do a year abroad and I'm really looking forward to doing one to gain the employability skills of working internationally as well as the academic skills that I've gained through working in the department. If we manage to do the job perfectly then a catastrophe will never happen. You know, if we've, that's, that's the ultimate aim is that we take the steps, we understand the hazards, we put the mitigation measures in place, we make sure people know how to respond and actually then if an event does occur, you know, the, the impacts of it are, are minimised as much as possible.